Hi, welcome back to Sledgehammer Tie Dyes. Today I'm going to do a quick little video and just show you how I do my center flips uh, to get that center symmetry. Uh, I had somebody ask me how they could uh, get those better, how they can turn out without slanting to the side. So I'll show you how I do it. Uh, I, I was shown a couple different ways. And they both work, although I think that the method I settled on works more consistently, I would say. So one way that you can do it is you can take the top uh, like this, and you can match up those seams in the back and pull out the front and just kind of work your way down. and kind of pinch out the, the middle of the collar. And then you would take your washable marker and just mark that bit. Then you can pull your shirt back out and that's kind of how you find the center. Now I find that that doesn't always work. Uh, this one turned out pretty good, but I think it was a little bit to the right. Uh, but then what you would do is you would come down to the bottom of the shirt, kind of do the same thing, where you pinch it, fold it down, find where it meets in the middle down there, give it a little crease, and then you can just mark that crease right there. So that's a quick way to find the center, and then you would just pinch these up, and then fold it like that. But the way that I do it that I find works better, which is kind of where you would go from here anyways. You pull one sleeve through the other, like this. And then I just make sure that I'm matching all the hems, all the seams rather. So you got this seam here, and then on the inside, you got that seam right there. So if you match them up all the way around, so I've got them matched up right here. I'm just gonna pinch that and hold it. If I can get my hand in, there we go. And so, my first seam is right here, but the inside seam of the inside of the sleeve on the inside is right here. So what you want to do is find this part of the shirt of the sleeve on the inside and match those up again. And then just kind of work your way around and place all those seams on top of each other. So now I have everything all matched up all the way around. Yep. And so then what I would do is do the same for the, the shoulder seam. Just kind of move that over real fast. Now I've got this seam, this seam, down to this, uh, see them all lined up. So then what I do is I pinch and I hold here and I make sure I don't let go of that. And then we can just kind of flip it out.
All right, so that is the basic part of it. Now what you're trying to do is get out all the wrinkles. And there's gonna be a lot. Also, you'll notice this one up here was actually pretty close. It was off just a little bit, just a hair. But the one on the bottom was off by, you know, quarter of an inch, and that could be significant. Okay, so that is pretty much everything straightened out with the exception of this area. This is always gonna be your, your, your problem area. So the way that I do that, is with the yardstick. So I'm just gonna take this guy, put it in between our shirts, and then right here, just use the, the corner of your, uh, of your yardstick and you're just kind of pulling it down. Another uh, useful trick with the yardstick is if you shove it all the way up the top of your shirt, right up to that inner seam right there, you can just kind of pick up everything and just kind of shake it out. And that usually puts everything about right. And that is how you can get a consistent center, uh, center symmetry flip pretty much every time. So there you go. Quick and easy.